Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a continuation of my new series on my channel where I'm going through and completely decluttering my entire house. So you guys really enjoyed the first video in this series, which was my master bedroom declutter. We're doing it KonMari style. I will link that video here on one of the I cards here somewhere or in the description box below. Um, but today we're gonna to be working in the bathroom. So. The bathroom obviously is going to be a smaller project than my bedroom was because it's a bathroom. <laughs> but I definitely have a lot of extra product and things like that that I don't need, that I don't use. I find that I kind of like typically stay within the same few products. I just keep coming back to those same ones over and over again. So I don't really need all of these extra products that I have. I have so many, plus I have more in my linen closet. Like I just have so many, so much product that I don't use. That's like skincare, makeup, everything. Um, so we're gonna go through all of my drawers, really pare down what I have and do some reorganizing as well. I am also going to clean the bathroom. I'm gonna clean the bathroom last. Um, normally I like to start decluttering with an already clean space. But with the bathroom, what I'm finding is that I'm going to be taking everything out of the drawers and placing it on the counter, and then the counter's just going to get dirty again anyways, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to start decluttering first, which like I said, something I don't typically do, and then we'll go back afterwards and clean everything later. So basically there's going to be tons of decluttering and deep cleaning and reorganizing motivation in today's video. So make sure you stick around if you are in need of that motivation. And yeah, let's get right on into it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'd absolutely love to have you. Um, I post videos two times a week and it's usually cleaning motivation. Um, sometimes I'll throw in a little bit of mommy content. Sometimes we talk about the law of attraction over here. I haven't done one of those in a while. I should probably do another one of those coming up here. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get on into it because that's why you guys are here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this bottom drawer. And this is my hair care drawer. As you guys can see, it is a huge mess. <laughs> I just kind of have been throwing everything in there. It's completely unorganized. I have so much stuff crammed in there that I don't need. That stuff's just falling all over the place. I got stuff falling out of this basket. It's just <laughs> insane. It's getting to the point where I can barely even open the drawer sometimes because things like get caught in there and it's just, it's ridiculous so I'm gonna go ahead I put everything up on top of the counter and I'm gonna give it a good wipe down because of course it's my hair care drawer there's stray hairs and everything all over the place so I'm gonna give it a good wipe down and then I'm gonna go through each and every single item and I'm going to just really look at everything and see KonMari style whether I really need it or not um, for example there like I have my large hairspray and then I have a little travel one as well and there is still some in the travel one but I don't need two hairsprays I hardly ever wear it and it's just taking up more space so things like that like if I can pare it down at all I just need to go ahead and do that and get rid of it because it's just taking up space and it's just it's it's getting awkward because I just have so much stuff in that drawer and it's just awkward to even open it and move around can't find stuff so it's definitely if you're finding yourself in a similar situation just definitely go through everything and you will actually be surprised at how much you can really give away so many things I always think I'm like oh maybe I'll use that maybe I maybe I need that for the future but nine times out of ten you're not gonna use it just go ahead and get rid of it Okay, we're now gonna move over into the next drawer and that is my uh, skincare drawer. And once again, it's pretty much the exact same state as the hair care drawer was. It's absolutely ridiculous. And again, there's so much stuff that I can get rid of in here. So 
I'm basically gonna go through the same process that I did with the hair care and just try to get rid of as much as I possibly can. Okay, so now that I've kind of sorted through what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things back um, and just try to organize it as I go. And once again, I've pared down quite a bit, so it should be a lot easier to put things back and have some sort of order to it. Um, but this is basically the stuff that you can see is the stuff that I'm gonna be keeping and I've just kind of been tossing everything that I don't want to the other side of the vanity. God issues cuz i fell in love with you doesn't make sense but it's true i can't help myself got to get help cuz i can't do with my issues make me feel alive but confused should have spent more time on you cuz i know that you hurt leave me in the dirt gonna leave me with my Okay, so now that I'm done with those banks of drawers, I'm gonna go ahead and start going through my makeup. Um, I have a couple of baskets up on top of a medicine cabinet, um, which is basically filled with makeup. So, and I do not, <laughs> I don't wear makeup every day and I'm a pretty basic gal when it comes to makeup. I don't really play around a lot. I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing with makeup. So I don't need as much as I have. That is 100% for sure, especially eyeshadow palettes. Um, you guys will see like the next bin that I bring down. It's all eyeshadow palettes for the most part and I just, I don't use any of them. I use pretty much what's in this bin and my extra eyeshadow palettes, I never use them. So I don't need them and I just need to go through and make some hard decisions and get rid of them because yeah, I'm at like some colors here, some colors there, but if I'm not wearing them consistently, then what's the point? All it's doing is taking up space and making it cluttered.
Okay, so now we're gonna move over into the medicine cabinet. Um, I wanted to go through and double check all the medicines and make sure that they weren't expired, which there was quite a few that was expired. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of that and just give it a good organize because I, once again, have so much stuff in here that it gets unorganized really, really quickly. Okay, you guys, so all of this is all stuff that's going to be tossed in the garbage. So this is stuff that's expired, um, like products that I've used half of or whatever that I don't want to use anymore. Like all of these, I've got some of these red lipsticks and like they're good brands. But I've had them for so long and I never wear these colors like I have like three different reds and I am not a red lipstick type of gal so <laughs> I mean they're still good but yeah I mean I have used them they're lip products and I just don't think I'm gonna get anything for them so I'm just going to toss them um, I'm not sure why I was trying to be a red lip girl and I'm just not <laughs> And then all of this is like expired medications. Um, yeah, pretty much. So we have quite a few things leaving the bathroom so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all that stuff in the garbage and start fresh with the rest of the drawers. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so we have all this stuff again for the cell pile. And then this is all of our garbage. So we have caught pretty much a full bag, shopping bag, for garbage out of here. So I'm very, very happy with that. This we're gonna add to our outdoor to toys instead of in the bathtub. And this stuff just needs to go other homes. So then I'm just gonna do a quick actual clean of the bathroom and we are good to go. So we have a nice and fresh and clean bathroom and we have got this emptied out quite a bit and more organized. Then up here, I ended up putting just like extra things in here. This was all different eyeshadow pal palettes were in here, just extra eyeshadow shadow palettes that I haven't used and I don't even remember when. Um, so I ended up putting just any of my fragrances, body sprays, perfumes in here, and my self tanner, and then this brush cleaner in here, and then this is just an extra little bag for when I travel. So I've got that in there. And then I pared down my makeup quite a bit. Um, as you guys saw, so this is all the makeup that I have. Um, I probably will be able to pare these down as well. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Sephora and just find like one palette that I could use because these are both pretty old anyways and they're probably definitely beyond their expiration date and I just continue to use them. Um, and then I have just kept like these ones also. But if I find a palette that has like that I could just use every day, then I could get rid of those since they're past their time anyway. So that would be good. Okay, and then in here, we got this pared down as well and cleaned out. The difference in this drawer is absolutely astounding. <laughs> It is crazy. So this is all of my lotions and um, like face washing, stuff like that. Anything basically to do with skincare. And then my hair care bin, also complete huge difference once again. All of my like hair treatments, leave-in treatments, hair products, brushes, hair ties, stuff like that. 
then over here we have curling irons and hair dryers. I got rid of a bunch of stuff in here. I got rid of all of that, um, like that leave-in hair dye for different hair colors. And then under here, much more organized as well. Just some cleaner. Um, yeah, pretty much cleaner. And then Chad has a to-go thing in there for products. And I didn't end up doing his drawer. This is Chad's drawer. He can do that himself. But yeah, hugely, hugely different. Very happy. So I am very happy with the results. Um, yeah, I definitely got rid of a lot of stuff. I got a whole garbage bag full of stuff. Um, actually, a garbage bag and a half. And then I also am, have quite a, bit, quite a bit of stuff that I'm selling as well. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was able to pare down quite a bit. And yeah, I really hope that I was able to inspire you guys with this video. Let me know in the comments down below if I did. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't